Hi everyone, welcome back to Nails by Sora. So I'm going to start off this video with a little bit of a nail repair. And I do want to apologize off the bat. I filmed this at school and I'm trying to provide content uh, from my classes to show you, you know, what it's like, uh, what I do uh, from class to class. But I can't seem to figure out how to set my camera up properly within the constraints of the area that I have to work. I have this little um, um, thing, arm, that attaches to the table, but I never seem to be able to set it up properly so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So most of this video, I tend to be in the top left-hand corner of the screen, so you'll forgive me if it seems like you can't really see anything that's going on, but I think I managed to save most uh, a good amount of the footage where you can actually see my fingers which would be beneficial so i used one of the i'm showing you the um this is the products that we received in our kits the brand is cuccio it's an italian brand they're actually on the whole i really like them it's a little different than the products that i'm used to predominantly i use madame glam and i find cuccio while their products are um it's, it's even hard to explain because they're thick, but they're not. They're runny. They, it's just, it's strange, but the results are really good. I haven't had any problems with them. They're just, they take a little bit more getting used to because they have a different viscosity than what I'm used to dealing with. But I fixed the paper form up under the nail. Really wasn't too focused on getting it shaped to do a full build out because that's not what I needed to do. I just needed something up under the corner of my ring finger so that I could build out the corner that I managed to file off when I was removing my last manicure. So that's what I'm doing and I'm using what's called T3 gel which is also by Cuccio. It is a builder gel but it actually performs more like a 3D gel. It doesn't really move too much on the nail. It tends to keep its shape. But in that respect, it's almost not good as a builder gel because it doesn't self-level too well. I was having a bit of difficulty getting it to uh, move in the manner that I wanted to. But I knew I was going to be filing and reshaping, so ultimately wasn't too concerned about that. I did do one layer before removing the form, and now I'm just putting another layer on top so that I can... Um, file and shape the nail without filing it too thin and losing the corner that I had just put on. The brush I am using is Cocoist. Um, I don't really use their brushes too often anymore. They're very good brushes, but I find I like just the cheapy ones from Amazon as well, if not better. I find they are, the handles of the Cocoist brushes are a little too short and thick for what I like and the ones from Amazon are longer and thinner, so I tend to use those. So I'm just uh, quickly going through, I wipe the inhibition layer of the gel off the nail so I can go and file. And actually with the removal process of the last manicure and the filing and reshaping, uh, this is the best shape I've ever gotten. Gotten? What is with that accent? I've ever gotten with any of my manicures and I just I keep staring at my nails because they look so nice they're nice and narrow and tapered and they're just chef's kiss perfection so if you want me to do a video on shaping please let me know down in the comment section below and I will do that um, and while you're at it please do give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when new videos are available I am posting more and more coming up into the holidays so if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. And as always, all the products that I use in this video will be list listed in the description box below. So I had seen a manicure that I really loved, and I still want to do it even though this manicure isn't that. Where they used a transparent um, or a jelly black, and then they did a French manicure outline with a pure black. So it gave a really nice, soft, elegant look to it. And I'm using Nails by Dev, her shadowing gel, which is really more for, um, you know, creating cast shadows on cartooning and artwork. 
but I like the way it looks overall so I figured I would use it for an all over coat and to achieve the look I was going for I would have had to have done only one coat but I thought it was laying a little streaky and I wasn't really happy with the way it looked on my nail so I went in and did a second coat and then it was really too dark to really be able to see any black that I would have put over it so instead I decided just to keep an all black nail and I'm going to do a French accent in gold and then affix um, a spider gem to my thumb on my left hand and the ring finger on my right hand to give it a little bit of a Halloween twist. So this is Gold Chrome Gel from Madame Glam. It's one of their gel paints and is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I've got two gel paints by Madame Glam. One has uh, kind of like a glitter effect to it and this one is a chrome effect. So I decided to go with the chrome effect because everybody loves a chrome. And I'm just going through and lining the smile line on all of my nails. Oh, and a little bit of a mistake, so I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush, a little bit of alcohol, just to wipe that away. So I had originally thought that I might put a spiderweb accent in the French and I did go and paint it in but I didn't like the way it looked so I wiped it off and then removed the inhibition layer along with it. So now I'm painting in, first I'm removing a hair that is invariably stuck to my nail. Um, I went and put another layer of base on the nail to create a tacky layer and then I'm going to put the T3 gel on to build up a spot for the spider to stick to. Now these spiders are quite large for my nails especially because my nails tend to be a little bit more narrow and indeed it really takes up a good portion of the lower part of my cuticle area. So, or rather the lunula area, the half moon that you can see below the nail plate. 
and I didn't want to build up the gel so high that it would completely encase underneath the spider legs because I knew that no matter what I did you would still see the gobs of gel underneath so consequently every time I run my fingers through my hair I am snagging my hair I don't know if I still would have done it any differently today I caught my ring finger on my right hand in my sweater in between my leg and the seatbelt in my car and actually ripped the gem off thankfully thankfully I was able to save it and reaffix it but make sure that when you are attaching gems especially if you're doing it to a client that you completely build up the gel underneath the gem so that it is completely 100 percent encapsulated on the underside so that you don't have any rough edges any pieces sticking up that are going to snag possibly hurt your client or yourself um, or come loose uh, just want to be more safe than sorry so in addition to the spiders I put three little gems going up kind of like a an abstract spider web and now I'm just putting top coat in and around the gems to completely seal them in you want to make sure that if you're using gems that are faceted that you don't polish over them because that's going to bloat the facets and make them look um, or make them lose their shine that you, you won't have quite the shine and effect that you would if you leave the tops of them bare And that's going to do it for this manicure. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If you are new, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. As always, I'm going to put some cuticle oil around what is actually the proximal nail fold. If you will pardon the actual terminology from me learning in school, uh, the cuticle is the dry portion of skin that sticks to the nail plates. We've removed that. So the flap of skin that comes up to the edge of the nail is the proximal nail fold. So I'm going to oil that up. I'm going to get underneath my nail to the hyponychium and that's going to do it. Thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you can please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video. Bye.